reading chapter ten ninety eight of One Piece, titled "The Birth of Bonnie." So immediately we know Bonnie is not a clone, and is not Ginny herself, because this is the birth of Bonnie. Okay. All right. Cover request by Skywalker Brook powering his electric guitar solo with an electric eel. <laughs> so, this chapter's manuscript is unfinished. Sorry, Oda. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, rock and roll. All right. Notes: the One Piece's anim- the One Piece anime's twenty fifth anniversary celebratory banquet has was hosted at Yokugu. Kokugikan Arena recently. I had a lot of fun stuffing myself, but it's time to get back to work. Which one was the anime twenty fifth anniversary? Was there a special anime dedicated to that? Revolutionary Army HQ Baltigo, the expanding tides of revolution. Requesting backup! The Toomey Uprising in the South Blue is looking bleak! We can't! Our hands are full dealing with the wounded at Goa! I have a chun! Oh, is this when they're at Goa Kingdom? Oh. I'll go. Don't be rash, Kuma! You've been acting reckless ever since that day! So, how much time has passed? What the? This guy's huge. Where did you come from? State your name. Ginny's been cap. <laughs> Ginny's been captured. <clears throat> yes, sir. It seems like she caught the eye of a. Cel- oh, oh. It seems she's caught the eye of a celestial dragon. They took her on a government ship because the celestial dragon wanted to make her his bride. Huh? We won! Finally, after three years of struggling, we couldn't have done it without the revolutionary army. The army took us by surprise. It was the Revolutionary Army again! He's been the Revolutionary Army! The heroes of the people! Please forgive us! Dragon, it's me! I've worn myself out. I'll have to return by ship. We're so sorry. Around two years have passed since Commander Ginny of the Revolutionary Army was kidnapped. Wah! Wah! To be wed to a celestial dragon. Wah! Wah! As if they didn't, they didn't, they didn't send out a rescue mission? Why? We're nearly there, Bonnie. Okay. Ah. So, this is yeah. I can't believe Oda did that. I cannot believe Oda did that. Come on. It's Ginny! She's on the line right now! What? Hey! Kumachi! I finally made it back to the surface! Ginny! They didn't want me around after I got sick. I was... I was thrown away. What a stroke of luck! Oh... You're sick! Oh my goodness! (laughs) 
I wanted to see everyone one last time. But this call will have to be our goodbye. Why? Why can't you see everyone one more time? What? What are you talking about, Ginny? Where are you? I can be there in an instant. I was afraid I'd never see you again. Oh, man. Oh, whoa. Kumachi, sorry, but... Oh, I'm at death's door. What? I'm glad you care about me, really. But you shouldn't come when I'm like this. Oh... Dragon, big bro. Kumachi has a big heart. Please take care of him for me. Kamachi has a big heart. Please take care of him for me. Adifu, get out of the way! There's only one place you'd go right now. Poof. Kuma-san! And Kumachi, I just want you to know. I love you and he wasn't there to hear it! Oh, why? Why didn't you say it back? I love you. I always have, always will. Oh, and she didn't get to hear him say it back. Oh, man. Kuma. Kuma, you're back? Where's Ginny? She's here, right? Sh she is, but... But I'm afraid... It happened when she was exposed to natural light. Her face, her, her entire body... <gasps> oh... Her face, her entire body, it all, it turned all blue in the sun, and her skin hardened like stone. Jesus. Oh. <sighs> Kumachi, oh no, why? <laughs> Kumachi! Oh. I'm just 
so happy. <laughs> oh, what could have done this to her? Hey, Komachi, let's get married. Wouldn't it make you happy? Oh, oh man. She burned up her remaining time, exposing herself to the sun. So that she could cross the ocean and make it home to us. <laughs> because she wanted to ensure her baby's safety. <laughs> oh. can rest now, Ginny. I swear, I'll raise her well. Please tell me, please tell me that this is where the sadness ends. Please, I can't, I can't take it anymore. It's too early in the morning for this. <sighs> That's all wrong! You're tilting the bottle too much! Bonnie-chan still looks uncomfortable! I'll show you how it's done! Uh, uh, is, is this better? She's so cute! And if you're gonna be sleeping next to her, make sure her cot is like an iron cage! We can't have you smushing her in your sleep with that massive body! Oh, you're quite the heavy drinker, Bonnie-chan. Oh, I'm sure you'll be just as much of a glutton as Ginny was. Oh, man, this is going to make me cry again. Oh, I'm going to cry again. I'm still hungry. No, no, no more. No more. Oh, no more tears. Oh. <gasps> Daddy! Oh, so cute! I can't! Oh, my heart! Oh, he's so cute! Oh, look at how much he eats! Ah. Oh. Oh, so Kuma's still been going around doing revolutionary work. Oh, look at him! Oh! Wow! Look at that. You all were absolutely freaking right. Um, the, the fact that these... This chapter is a lot of manuscripts rather than cleaned up panels actually makes it so much better. Like, it hits 
Like you can really feel the roughness and the dichotomy in like in Kuma's life right now. Look at that's crazy. Oh wow. Oh he's like they've actually got an iron cage. She's actually got an iron cage. That's so cute. Hey Sabo! Oh my goodness. Can you imagine Kuba re uh, Sabo received training from the best of the best. The best of the best. Kuma, what in the world are you doing? You've boarded up all of the church's windows. <sighs> Close the door. No, it's those two friends. Take a look here. Below her eye. Is, th is that a blue star? Oh no, it started with Bonnie as well. Why? Oh. <laughs> Take a look here below her eye. Hmm? It, is that a blue stone? Hey, isn't that... It looks like... Just like what Ginny had at the end. I'll call a doctor! Thank you! Hmm... It's caused by sunlight, you say. Are you sure? Why don't we try taking her outside? Are you insane? It doesn't seem to be white lead poisoning. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with this condition. You're quitting the revolutionary army? What? What? Bunny's contracted the same disease her mother had? Yes. I... I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but I have to stay by her side. I understand. It's important to live without regrets. We can use our contacts to reach out to doctors all over the world for her. I owe you, dragon. <sighs> Seven years ago, when Bonnie was five. <laughs> Us. Oh, they call her a vampire. And stay out, you twerps. <laughs> so cute. Bonnie, age five. Oh, she's so sweet. Bleh. Haha. <laughs> this is as far as you can go, right? <laughs> I dare you to take a step out here, you ugly vampire. Eat this. Bet your holy cross is your weakness. Look at it shine! Bloody hell, kids can be so mean. Kids can be so mean sometimes. We're in a church, dummy! Ah! I'll show you who's boss! I'm coming after you! Ah! Bonnie, stop! Please, you can't go outside. Even standing near the doorway can give you the ouchies. I know! You're such a worrywart, Dad. I was just kidding. P please, don't even joke about it. Okay, I hate it when you get all sad and worried anyways. You're such a good kid! You're such a good kid! Oh! Stop being such a crybaby, Dad! Those jerks, they made fun of my face stones again. Are they really that weird? It's not like, oh. I think it's actually kind of cute. Are they really that weird? It's not like I can help them. I didn't ask to get sick. You mean your jewels? <laughs> They're just jealous because you've got such Pretty jewelry. Oh, that's where he's got it. It's jewelry, body. <laughs> you think so? I'm so cute. <laughs> you betcha. I love them. Hey, Bonnie, if you were to go on a trip, where would you like to go? For when you're better, I mean. Hmm. Oh, I know. Have you heard about the legendary Sky Islands? 
There are islands way up in the air. That's right. I read about it in this book. It's so close to the sun. So maybe we'll see Nika up there. You'd love that, right, Dad? Dun da 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 da. Dun da 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 da. That sounds like a grand adventure. We can go there to have a big celebration for your twentieth birthday. Where should we go for your nineteenth? Fishman Island. All oh, these callbacks. After examining your daughter, I've concluded that she suffers from sapphire scale. I'm afraid it's incurable. Don't say that. I'm, uh, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> Okay. You know what it is? And sorry to ask, but can you speak a bit quieter? These days you almost never see it. Those stones grow exponentially, exponentially when bathed in any form of natural light, like the sun or moon. But even if you completely ex prevent any exposure... I'm afraid it's only a matter of time before the disease catches up with you. Why? Forgive me for being so blunt, but... <laughs> Your daughter has another five years at best. It'll be a miracle if she reaches her tenth birthday. I'm afraid it's simply terminal, going by our current scientific understanding of it. I mean, obviously, that's not the case because Bonnie is still alive. It'll it'll be over by her tenth birthday. Look at Kuma crying, <laughs> and I can't. Please, Kuma, I'm not crying. Gonna make me cry. <laughs> this isn't fair. She's already growing into such a strong woman. Is there really no cure? Oh, man. Uh, this chapter should be called Pain and Suffering. This is Pain and Suffering. Kachak. Boo! <laughs> Bonnie, I thought you were asleep. I heard it all. You said it'll be over, but. You said it'll be over by my 10th birthday, right? Your 10th? I have no idea what you're talking about. I heard you say it. Hey, are you crying? Is it something I said? Ah, yes. He said... Yes, he said when you're 10. It was... It was about your illness, Bonnie. That stupid doctor... He told me that your condition is going to continue as it is till you're 10. Huh? It's just such an appalling amount of time. I couldn't help but get down after that. That means it'll I'll be all better when I'm 10, right? So we can go on those trips. <sighs> oh... So we can go on those trips? Isn't that right, Daddy? <laughs> oh no, what have I done? Oh, of course, by the time you've turned 10, you'll be cured. Yippee! Oh, what am I gonna do? A familiar nightmare would soon descend on the Kingdom of Sorbet, only one year later. Come on! You've got to save us! King Bekori has returned and is just as monstrous as ever! Huh? It 
It's just like 16 years ago. He still wants to cut loose the country's dead weight. What? He's going to burn the people in their homes. What the freak? The never-ending tragedy continues to unfold. What? And this is where it ends. Why does it end here? Oh man, what a dark chapter. Why? Why?